Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a quick sort of review of Rugby Challenge 4. I know it's been out for a while now. Um, I haven't had the time to really get into the nitty gritty and give you my opinions of the game. So today I will be, I'll be playing a quick five minute game in England against the world champion South Africa and just running over some of the points that I like, some that I dislike comparing it to Rugby 20 and just giving you my overall thoughts, a, a little review, just in case there are any of you still sort of sitting on the fence about whether to pick this up or not. One of the things I do like to begin with is the starting lineups here, the fact that it is paused and you can just scroll down the players, you know, you can pick up your matchups, find your, your big players from the opposition, who, how you're going to be matched up against them. Colby against Anthony Watson, for example, is a tasty, tasty matchup. But yeah, there's no sort of rush there. You can go through it. You can do do your research, pick out your tactics. I really do like that. That is one of the main points. Um, yeah, so let's get into this game. Owen Farrell, Faz, to kick us off. Um, I'll begin with the graphics. Um, I think the graphics are a slight step up. Uh, from the previous Rugby Challenge game. I know they're using the Unreal Engine on this game, so you would think that it should be definitely better. Um, but I wouldn't say it's, you know, it's not massive. It's not a massive step up, not a huge, you know, improvement, which can become disappointing for these games. Obviously, there hasn't really been massive changes in anything for the Rugby Challenge series. As we turn it over now, a lot of people complain that, you know, the um, Anthony Watson and Acres of Space here, high tackle. Uh, yeah, they complain that the game hasn't really changed from the first iterations. I th you know, the, the gameplay-wise, it is okay, so I'm not too worried about that, but I would love to have seen big, big um, improvements in graphics and presentation. I've pressed the wrong button there. I was meant to kick for touch, but I'm kicking for goal. Uh, so this is a disaster. See if we can make it. Not like that. We've completely fucked up there. Oh, sorry. Swearing. Oh, uh, yeah, we've completely messed up there. But yeah, yeah. So let's go back to it. The graphics. Sorry, that's completely um, threw me off guard now. That has, and somehow, oh no, we've got the ball back. Yeah, completely threw me off guard. Johnny May, acres of space, this should be a try. Yeah, the graphics and presentation, I definitely feel the presentation could have a little work on. It's nice that we've got some official stadiums in the game, which we don't have in Rugby 20. Um, so that is a nice touch, but it would have been nice if we could sort of edit the names of the stadium so you know we could have the correct stadium names or something at least and obviously a stadium stadium creator would have been fabulous but um yeah overall I'm, I'm i'm it could be better but i'm happy with the graphics and things like that obviously the main thing is the gameplay the gameplay hasn't really changed in decades now since the first few rugby challenges which is a bit of a shame because there's definitely some improvements that need to be made I mean, in comparison to Rugby 20, I think it is the far superior rugby game. When it comes to gameplay, it's more realistic. And um, But there are definitely things that need to be worked on. One of the things that really winds me up is the ping-pong passing. You could have, um, you know, you could be on one side of the pitch uh, with a player, you know, more, more the AI. But for example, if I win this ball here, uh, release win the ball from the ruck say I've got the ball now pass it to my ruck you can literally the AI ping it right out to the far winger when there's about seven or eight players in between that and I just don't don't like that it's not realistic at all you don't release. see it in real life rugby you can you know you can pass and skip two or three players but um, several oh, terrible there but yeah, seven or eight players sometimes, it's just unrealistic. And then they can, um, should be going over for a try there, South Africa, they have. And that'll wrap up the first half. But yeah, you can, it's just not realistic. 
Um, sometimes you get big clumps of players in the middle as well and it just becomes a complete mess on screen. There doesn't seem to be sometimes a lot of pattern to, uh, to the defending and the attacking. Uh, which is disappointing. I do like the set plays. I prefer the set plays definitely to Rugby 20. They're a lot simpler and they, you know, you, you just know when to use them, you know which ones work well in different situations. So that is definitely a positive for me. Um, the gameplay, like I said, it, it is very old. If you played any Rugby Challenge game, it's pick up and play is exactly the same. There's no, no differences at all. Same set piece mechanisms. For, uh, scrums, line outs, kicking, stuff like that. So if you want something brand new, you're not going to get it here. But obviously we don't have a great choice in rugby games and when comparing it to the other main one on the market, Rugby 20, this game is definitely the one I would recommend picking up. For, as far as game modes, um, the career mode is slightly disappointing as Tuolangi now breaks clear. Yeah, it is disappointing because there isn't much depth to it at all. Um, there's no sort of increase or decrease in the player ratings. There's no sort of fatigue or anything like that on the players. Um, there's literally really no reason to change your team or starting lineup from game to game unless there is an injury, um, which is slightly disappointing, especially if you you know you get years and years down the career mode and you've got young players, you want to see them progress and get their ratings higher. You're not going to get it here, unfortunately. I mean, obviously they said that they are going to put a lot of work, lovely tackle there, a lot of work into the patches. We've had one so far. Here's hoping that one of the patches does uh, bring these sorts of things into the career mode because um, it certainly needs it, certainly needs it. Otherwise, it's just going to get stale extremely quickly. There's a huge, huge gap here for Underhill. Um, yeah, it's just going to get stale pretty quickly. I haven't tried the beer pro mode yet. Um, I will give it a go at some point. I just prefer a career mode. I just prefer playing with full teams um, be a pro isn't my sort of thing really but I will get round to that and give you my opinions on that I know be a pro mode is quite popular with a lot of people um, as far as online goes I've only played a couple of online games so far and I have to say the games I have played have been an absolute laggy mess I've quit after a few minutes it's just not worth playing at all it really isn't um, you just can't do anything you know you've got the meters on the set plays and because there's so much lag going on you just can't you just can't perform any of them it's pretty uh, pretty terrible um, you know again I'm not sure if that's because I'm here in England and you know the majority of players are pro probably from Australia New Zealand places like that I'm not sure if uh, that's the reasoning behind it as Anthony Watson has looked to have won the game for England yeah, so far, until they can patch it and improve things, online really isn't worth playing. It's a shame they don't have a lot more online modes there. You know, you'd love to see things that you have on FIFA, like your season mode and your ultimate team mode. Obviously, Rugby 20 does have a My Squad mode, which is quite similar to Ultimate Team. So it's a shame they don't really have that. They haven't really injected any new modes at all into this iteration of the game, which is extremely disappointing. So yeah, the game modes can definitely uh, would definitely do with some work. I mean, who knows if they've got plans for a Rugby Challenge 5 on next generation consoles. Um, but they will definitely need to uh, work on that. Um, yeah, I, I'm disappointed as well. There has, the PC version hasn't been released yet because I will be picking up that. Um, you, you've then got access to mods and things like that, which will hopefully bring an all-round new realism to the game but that's that's my thoughts basically as, as we finish this game England come through against South Africa it's a bit scruffy but I was trying to talk to you at the same time um, yeah as far as rugby video games go this is really the only half decent option you have yes there's lots of negatives but there are positives as far as realism goes, in comparison to Rugby 20, I would say this is the more realistic rugby game. Some people do prefer Rugby 20, and I can understand that. It's a lot more sort of arcadey, fast-paced. 
uh, but you know it's got the my squad mode things like that I never really played online on rugby 20 so I can't really compare the two but I understand the people who will prefer that but this is my video and in my opinion if you're looking for a rugby video game in 2020 then rugby challenge 4 is the way you should go especially if you've got a PC and they hurry up and release the PC version because that hopefully will get you past the licensing issues because you'll be able to mod your game but yeah that will be the end of the video for me guys rugby challenge 4 I would probably give it a 6 out of 10 7 out of 10 if I'm pushing it like I said as far as rugby games go it's the best one on the market but there's lots of improvements you can do uh, the company can do uh, for next iterations I have recently started playing rugby 08 again and it's just incredible that a game that old still provides so much fun even in 2020 and I will be bringing some videos on that game ASAP but if you've enjoyed my thoughts and review on rugby challenge floor please do drop a like if you haven't already then maul that subscribe button over the line pass on to any rugby friends or family who enjoy the sport let them know about my channel my career mode and my different videos I really do appreciate it if you manage to bring across any subscribers please let me know in the comments and I will shout you out in the video but that is it for today's video guys thanks for watching and I'll see you between the virtual sticks